Hey everybody, here's a garden update. It's uh, getting close to the end of April here. And we can see that some of the blueberries and gooseberries are starting to leaf out. That they're getting a little bit bigger. Hopefully they'll get even bigger as the weather warms up. The uh, onions are starting to get big. They're starting to form bulbs at the bottom. So it may not be too long before we can pick some of the onions. The herb garden, like always, is doing good. And so, we see that uh, the oregano and the dill and these eight, these rogue acorns that get planted in the garden. Then they sprout, I have to pull them. But the dill's looking good. Dill is always kind of tough here in Texas. It seems like they don't like the heat too much. So, right now, while it's still cool, they're getting really green and so well, that's great. I'll have to plant some more herbs here in this space because I need some room for parsley and some more basil. Uh, trying to get the garden into some good shape here. We can see that the flowers are coming up. The uh, elephant ears are coming up. The mulberry is sprouting. The persimmon tree is doing all right. And then of course more of my artichokes are ready to be picked. Boy, oh boy, these are ready to be picked. Hey, look at that, folks. Here's my hand. You can see how big the artichoke is. So it's time to pick that before it, you know, goes into a flower. So that's really great. Uh, the fig tree I replanted here, uh, got it out of the container and put it in the ground. So it's leafing out. So it looks like the transplant worked and it's still alive. So that's great. The apricot tree... The container trees, they look like they're green. I have to start repositioning everything to get it in some sort of semblance here. My container tomatoes, looks like they all got <clears throat> little tomatoes, little flowers on it. That's great. And then my containers of peppers and that from both last year and new. So they're doing all right. I like to see that. And here's some things here that we can see that this probably little pepper plants sprouting from the roots. Uh, I had these from last year, so they're re-sprouting and regrown, which is really nice to see. Of course, over here, we have some <laughs> purple artichoke. That's ready to be picked. Look at my hand and look at the size of that. Ain't that something? It's a little plant, and it's got a nice big artichoke like that. So it'll be some good eating today. Uh, the onions, the goji berries... Zucchinis are starting to leaf out, which is great. It's time to water and feed this week. Look at this cardoon. I mean, this is taller than me. Here's here's my hand, right? And you can see that it's going to flower. So you don't eat the flowers like you would a artichoke. You eat the stems. But boy, this plant is just huge. If you can kind of see the size of that, I mean, it's a beautiful plant. Onions, raspberries on this side. Here's my last year's strawberry bed. I might kind of put strawberries somewhere else. I don't think they did so good in this partial shade area. I think they want more sun. They got diseased and died, and these are just the remnants. So need to uh, probably put them somewhere else and then put something there. Um, here I got some tomatoes that are growing up. I kind of got a little cage around it just to keep it uh, structured. I need to trim it. Here's some cucumbers, lots of flowers, lots of cucumbers growing up the trellis. More onions. Of course, the blackberries, holy smokes, it's like a jungle. I mean, I trimmed it and thinned it out, and it just, I mean, look at the size of that main stalk. It's just crazy, and the problem is, is this is the picky one with the thorns. Oh, God, it's, it's really murder trying to get in there. I, I wish I would have planted all non-thornless, but Jesus, it does so good, I mean. Look at the size of that thing, going right up over the fence. Of course, here's some more of the blackberries. These are not thorn, uh, they, these don't have thorns, but you can see we're gonna have another big blackberry harvest. Here's another stalk coming up, some main stalks. Now here, it's kind of closed my path. This is the potato bed that I planted back in January, right? So you can see that these things have gotten, oh my goodness, they're so tall that they just leaned over, right? You can maybe see it better here is that they get so tall, it's looking for the sun. And then, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at that. That's amazing how tall that potato 
leafy vine is. I mean, it's really amazing. Um, now, basically, from what I understand, look at that here, as you can kind of lift it up. From what I understand is that when, how do you know the potatoes are ready underneath here? Well, that would be when these die out, right? They get yellow and they die out. So it looks like they're kind of yellowing a little bit, but they still got a lot of green. Might be another week or two and we can pull those and uh, maybe get some potatoes here. Uh, and then we have to plant the sweet potatoes. So this is kind of a, you know, end of April update with the garden here. Here's the peppers. Uh, the shishito peppers are right here. And you know what? I can plant still small, right? But that's a full grown pepper. This is a full grown pepper. So I might as well pick that and give the plant an opportunity to get a little bigger. So that's the thing you gotta watch is, but everything's due for some fertilizer and I got some organic spray fertilizer that I'm gonna put in and give them all a dose. Uh, that cardoon, this is really what I'm looking forward to when it makes the flowers uh, and see all the nice uh, birds and bees come and take that and hopefully pollinate the rest of this. But it's uh, always a work in progress, folks. And it needs to get cleaned up and organized quicker than what I'm currently doing. But we're going to try to do some work here this weekend. And there we go. There's a garden update for us. Oh, and one other thing. Um, the Christmas flower. Look at this. You know, it's that bulb. And wow. Look at that. Ain't that something? It got so heavy now. Yeah, if I kind of lift that up a bit, you can see it better. But ain't that something that... Uh, that really nice. I didn't expect it to bloom like that. But we got to clean this up and get some flowers and everything in here too. You know, once we can get back to the stores and really do our thing, uh, you know, we can get moving. Here's Mr. Banana Plant that looks like he survived, so he needs some sun and water. Uh, anyways, folks, that's our little update for now. Talk to you later.